reality. Saturn cult have a monopoly on the interpretation of reality. They even hide that their view of it is even an interpretation, since this would imply relativity. Reason and interpretation are antithetical in quest for knowledge academia and science are more or less homogeneous in their attitude, conflicts are present, but opponents are progressively being eliminated. Reason is linear, i.e. masculine, while interpretation is cyclical, i.e. feminine. Interpretation implies that knowledge is paradoxical, opposites are the same, in the end all is one, all details taken from its context is a pure lie. Holistic perspective from right brain, Jupiter. Saturn is a top-down power with hierarchy, using force, linear with a master and slave, domination, and submission. Sitting in the top of the pyramid, he holds a strong grip on the truth, because it allows control. The idea about one truth is getting more and more difficult to sustain, as information is spreading horizontally, and no longer only vertically, among the worthy. This means that control in itself is threatened. How can we gather anything called knowledge without interpretation? Doesn't the word knowledge imply a subject and an object? Can the object in itself render further objectivity, new knowledge all by itself, from itself, without a subject asking any questions or do observations? In my studies, I understood to see through this scam, but I wasn't allowed to express it. My teachers told me, you need to be objective. Well, how do I become objective? You can only refer to previous well-known theories by other accepted thinkers. In short, lift yourself in your hair and remove yourself from your observation. A subject is forbidden. Does this method make me objective? Doesn't it just create a self-reference back in an endless loop, creating an echo chamber of thoughts that fits your version of truth? Just rendering more and more new details from a perspective that was chosen as an accepted version of reality, refusing to change direction slash perspective. Isn't my thoughts and awareness supposed to focus on present life and its external background and refer this view to my existing horizon of understanding, in a holistic way? I always digest information wholeheartedly, without applying any filters of value to the source I'm studying, I have no prejudice. I throw it all into my big sack of consciousness, and I leave it there, until the results return to me from the subconscious mind, right brain hemisphere. I take myself the freedom to interpret. This is Jupiter, the spiritual teacher speaking to me. Jupiter is the youngest son of Saturn, that castrates and kill his father Saturn. You can easily understand why he's banned from society. Jupiter is the one who will destroy the tyranny of reason, that will lead the way into a new age, where Saturn slash Satan becomes silenced. Jupiter and Uranus both have the same focus, to liberate the world from Saturn's oppression. We all need to see truth as the lie it is. Saturn is time, which is a man-made law, in the service to control and enslave. Not even time is constant, but fluctuates, based on the movement of celestial bodies. The main focus from Saturn cult is to utilize resources as rational as possible, to transform quality, feminine energy, into quantity, by domination, distortion, and suppression. The patriarchate, Saturn cult, spares no methods but lie, cheat, and steal, to keep control, because it makes them gods, and keeps you as slaves. Air slash thoughts in itself is a rudimentary consciousness based on the machine metaphor, the organic and subtle balance of life is imminent in water slash emotions. Feminine energy, see through the illusion of the linear and masculine fraud, that has put a spell on your mind. The linearity, is the bars of your prison cell, that you were tricked to put yourself in. The controller is the controlled. Relax, nothing is under control. 